So, um, I tried something else and it seems to be working okay. This is, um, let's say the biochar version. So I've tried this. It's a little bit cooler than the um, sheet metal because I guess it's white. And this is some wood that I stuffed in the fire and um, cooked up. So um, I charred it. So you can imagine your biochar fence and you're getting the 7.3, 7.4 which is almost identical to these guys and um, the temperature. See it goes up and down because right now this thing is cycling so it goes quickly then it slows down then it goes quickly again. So the temperature um, around 7.3 at the moment. So pretty surprised and uh, pleased with this. I did not expect it to uh, be adequate at all. And who knows, maybe the ordinary wood is workable too. It seems to be um, almost on a par with this. And when the wood is wet, it will probably be different. Now one thing I remember about uh, graphite from uh, going to school all those decades ago is that it has a good heat transferability. So it's possible that this being almost charcoal to maybe a tiny distance into the wood is helping this to um, to gain uh, heat. It's 7.8 now. I didn't expect it to go up that high. So um, yeah, um, bit of a surprise. But maybe what you want is uh, uh, a row of charred wood on your back of your um, what would you call it? Drip wall delta. And it's called delta because see the little cuts. The little cuts means that. Uh, the entire thing will tend to um, stay working even when your water is a bit dirty because uh, uh, I don't have because I'm in a, a freezing zone at the moment I don't have this water going through in pipes it just drips down into the bottom of the soil so um, yeah so that's not too bad 7.1 now so it goes up and down um, just because it's cycling thank you